Hello everyone, again I am filming on my phone today um, because I just can't be bothered to sit down and edit a video and that's mainly it but I have my product empties and my phone's on my window so which is probably why it's a little bit brighter and this is my bucket that basically as you can see it's overfilling once this is full I will do a product empties video once I've done the video I throw this stuff out and then start refilling it again and this has been full for about a month. I've filmed the video about four times, never gotten to upload it. And yeah. Second thing, I'm sorry about how my hands look filthy. It's my self tanner, the Aldi one. My feet look the same because I didn't realise that it would uh, go patchy like that if I didn't rub it in properly. So that's my own fault. And back light on. Um, so my hands look filthy, but yeah, the rest of me is looking nice, not that you can probably tell, my face looks a little bit pale, but anyway, I'm not going to do reviews on these, just going to tell you what they are. So the first one is, as you can see, there's a little bit left in here, but it was just really old, the Radox Muscle Soothe, um, bath soak, this little bit has been in there for months and months, so I decided that it was just better to open the other bottle throw this bit out and it smells really good. <laughs> you can tell how long some of this stuff has been in here. I've got my Nivea Visage Pure Effect Clean Deeper, my old face wash that I used to use and I haven't used this I'd say in about three or four months. Yeah, I'd say about that, about three or four months. <laughs> I have my Dove Hair Therapy Nourishing Oil Care Conditioner. Now, I, this is um, absolutely amazing. My hair, I could tell my hair was getting used to this. Um, it wasn't working as well, so I went and bought a different Dove one, and it's working totally fine. It's the blue label one. Like, this is the gold. It's the blue labeled one. I think it's the split ends repair or something, but it's really good, and I would definitely repurchase this, though. I have a packet of my... Sana, Sana, S A N A, um, pads. Just thought I'd put them in here. These are for bladder weakness, just because I hate the thin ones. I bleed through them so quickly. And these are the extra ones, and they're really, really good. And they don't make you itchy if you get sweaty or anything either. As far as I can see on the surface, I have two Maybelline Express Care. I lip makeup removers. I know I think I've got at least another two in there somewhere, but there's two here. I have my Nivea Visage Young Bye Bye Spot Night Care Cream. I am going to repurchase this. It's a really good moisturiser and it just help, helps keep my skin clear. I have my Palmolive Naturals Healthy End Shampoo. I don't have the conditioner because it ran out, so I kept this for my makeup brushes. I'm going to put the bucket here. I have an Oral-B Pro Health All-Round Protection Toothpaste. I'm the only one that uses Oral-B Toothpaste in my house that I know of um, because it's the only one that doesn't send my mouth numb. So, yeah, I have another tube that's almost empty. I have a packet of Ophelia Makeup Rounds with Aloe Vera. They're like the round pads you use to remove your makeup with. And they're like $1.73 and I buy heaps of these all the time. I have another tube of toothpaste that's empty. It's the same one as the other one. My Face of Australia Primer finally ran out. Um, it was also a moisturiser, although I didn't use it as a moisturiser. Um, this was really good. The only thing is the Aldi one. Pretty much the same packaging. It's got the same ingredients. They smell the same. And it's like half the price of this one, so I'm buying the Aldi one instead of this. But if I had to repurchase this, I would. Now, I actually have some makeup products here. that There are some in here, but they're these Color Co blush things. They're actually really good. I used to try and use them as eyeshadows, but I just never ended up using them. And I'm not giving them to anyone because... These colours are so outrageous that honestly no one needs them anyway. One of my friends wears bright, bright blush 
nearly every day so her cheeks are like literally this bright and it's horrible um but they were really good um this one obviously i had only ever swatched i had never worn because i always took the other one but see it's a nice color i just never wore them and i have no I kept the rosy terracotta colour one because it's really nice. It's more of a neutral one. I only use it in the winter though. But these are just ghastly and horrible. I actually have three, four mascaras. Um, one is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Smoky Eyes. This is my favourite mascara ever. It was only came in black at the time. I think it still only comes in black. Um, but my stepsister took the lid off and started pumping it. And then it dried out. And it had maybe, I'd say, a third of it left. But now it's just all dried out. But it's my favourite and I'm going to repurchase one soon. I have the Rimmel Scandalize Volume Flash Scandalize Extreme Black Mascara. I am not repurchasing this. I just didn't use it because it was so clumpy and I can't even open it. I have the CoverGirl Lash Perfection in black brown I used to use this like if I wore found like just my foundation stuff and mascara this would be the one I wore um, but I just took so long to use it and it's all like dried up and I didn't use it so covergirl stuff's on sale at the moment so I might go buy another one of these because it was actually pretty good and I had the lacquer of beauty volumizing mascara this was in brown they don't sell this in brown anymore they only sell it in black it's a really good mascara but because it is just brown i kept it for so long like oh i have to wait for a special occasion wait for a special occasion and then i forgot i would use a different one that i have and this just ended up drying up i have two packets of my simple clear skin oil Balancing cleansing wipes. These are absolutely amazing. I have a tissue. Oh, I found another two packets of my eye makeup removable pad things. Here's another eye lip makeup remover. So I have two foundations that I actually depotted or squeezed out of these tubes, and I kind of regret it now, particularly for this one. Um, but I just like put a Q-tip in there and poke my face with it now. But the other one, what is the Rimmel Stay Matte? I actually don't even like this. It just, it's the wrong colour, which again is why I'm using the self tanner. And by the end of the day, it's only stuck to my faces over here. It's all come off my cheeks. If I sweat, it just comes off, and it's horrible. And I'm trying to use it up, but I just can't find the motivation to use it. But I got the colour soft beige, and it's too dark for me. I think I should have gotten a. I think if I had a lighter colour, it would be better. And I have the NYX Stay Matte but not flat foundation. I actually really like this. Um, I got the colour again, soft beige in this one. Which, it suited me a bit better. I think there's still like a tiny, tiny bit left in here. There we go. It is yellow. Ah, there we go. It is yellow. Um, but once I put like my self tan, uh, my um, translucent powder and it matches my skin tone. I have my Herbal Essences Honey I'm Strong Strengthening Shampoo. Again, I use this for makeup brushes, cleaning them, my makeup brushes, but this bitch is, it's so hard to squeeze out that it's, yeah, not worth it. The Original Source Shea Butter and Honey Shower Gel. This was really, really good. My favourite one out of these is the lime one. It's Australian, um, packed with natural stuff, tested on humans, not animals, and smells really, this smells really good. My heated eyelash curler from Salon Beauty Supplies. It was heated and, um, you move this up and the light thing lights up, it isn't actually doing it now, but it just, it'll go through stages where it won't, it'll go through stages where it will, it's just really bulky and, yeah. This that was in here actually was not the Garnier Fructose one, it was the VO5 heat protectant, but the bottle of it broke so I tipped it in here. And yes, I have repurchased the VO5 one, it's in my shelf over there. And you can tell how long this has been here, it's my Savvy Pressed Powder. 
in 01 light. I have not used this, I'd say, easily six months. Yeah, easily six months because I bought the Rimmel Stay Matte one. And now I don't even use the pressed powder. I went and bought an e.l.f. one. And then I started on liquid foundation again. So this is like, yeah, but I would repurchase it. I think I have repurchased a few. I have, these are actually, I depotted, I squeezed all these out and put into a little pot. The Lacquera Essentials Purify Plus Pimple Cream. Now this is really good. Um, it's also really thick. So I will put on the sides of my nose where I get a lot of dryness. As you can see, my foundation's like, horrible on the sides of my nose today just well actually I used a BB cream I have my Nivea Pure Effect Shine Control Mattifying Gel Cream I just squeezed this out into a tube I mean into a container I have a Benefex Pore Pore Ointment I use this all up I use it for lip balm um, if I burn myself I'll use it on that bug bites particularly mosquito bites although I don't get bitten by mosquitoes that much um, and this is just really good. Pour pour in it is amazing for everything. Then I just have a travel size VO5 shampoo and conditioner that I've had for so long. They've just glugged up and it's like glue, so I'm throwing them out. Because I bought a Tresme ones. So that's this bucket of my product empties. Finally, the video is only 11 minutes long instead of like 17, which is what my other one was when I was doing reviews. Sorry, my phone suddenly just told me I had no storage left, so I had to go fix that. So if you see anything you would like me to do a proper review on, um, or just tell you what I would buy again, definitely. Um, most of these products I would buy again. In fact, I have bought some of them again. Pretty much it's only the makeup stuff I won't. My phone just went off again, so anyway, I'm just going to tell you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.